first introduction into a battery electric zero emission product for Volvo trucks in North America. And I usually like to start off talking about why we selected the BNR. So the R stands for regional. So this is the truck that's got the great visibility, big windscreen, big windows. We have the short bumper to back of the cab, tight turning radius. So when you look at those segments, pick up delivery, distribution, uh, tight city environments, this is the product that is right for that market for those segments. And then what we've done is introduced the electric drive line, make it simpler to operate, allow the drivers to be productive in their daily operations. Usually start off talking about some of the features that are different. Um, obviously we've got electric on the door, that's one way, but the batteries. So you'll see here on the side we have these large rectangular stainless steel uh, battery boxes. This is one box here on top, there's a second one down below, and then we have the similar setup on the passenger side, so that's our standard configuration which is four battery packs. So this is what stores all the energy for this vehicle. Everything runs off these batteries. They're 600 volt lithium ion batteries. Now in January or earlier this year, we launched our BNR Enhanced product where we upgraded to power density. And then on our six by two tractor, six by four configurations, we offer an option for two additional batteries. So this is the six battery pack arrangement. And that allows us to get that maximum range potential on our 82,000 pound trucks. With this, on your, depending on your distribution route, this is where you have that potential to hit that up to the 275 mile mark on a single charge. We've got two ways that we get energy into the batteries. The first way, we can charge it. So we have a charger port that's located here under the driver's step. This is a DC powered product because that, we think that gives the speed that you'll need for your turnaround. We do not have a proprietary connector. We're following the industry. We want to see where that's going to go and meet those needs. So we have a combined charging solution type connector. CCS1 is our standard. CCS2 is an option depending on what the customers may need. So we think going with that CCS1 right now is the most dominant at this point. Once public infrastructure becomes available, the product can be charged in public space. The second way that we get energy into the battery system is we actually take advantage of the momentum of the vehicle and we do that through regenerative braking. So when you take your foot off the accelerator when you're driving today, you'll feel it kick into a regenerative mode. And what it's doing is taking that speed differential between the vehicle and it will actually turn the motors and the, uh, the electric motors in the other direction. Now they become generators. And through that, we're able to recapture energy and store it in the battery pack. And what we've seen is typically anywhere from 5-15% on the average of regenerative energy coming back into the vehicle during a typical duty cycle. And that's what makes this electric drive line so efficient and so interesting when you've got those stop and go, low average speeds, heavy traffic, is you do have that opportunity to recapture energy, maximize that range and range potential that we have. So now we've got energy in the, into the storage system. You can't quite see it today because we've got a deck plate, but right here is our center mounted electric machine. And so under that we have two electric motors they produce 340 kilowatts or 455 horsepower. So that's right in our most popular rating of that D13 engine. So that'll give the drivers that, that performance that they like. It is mated to a two-speed transmission, very simplified I-shift transmission. Out of that tail shaft, you get 4,051 foot-pounds of torque. And the cool thing about electric motors is that's right at zero RPM. So as soon as you start putting uh, energy to it, you'll get that torque. We do have a two-speed transmission because it's a heavy-duty vehicle. We still have to pull 82,000 pounds. So it'll start off in that first gear. It gives you that launch capability, that uh, enough energy and momentum to be able to clear intersections, move in traffic. And then it'll shift into second gear right about 24 miles an hour. So when, you, when you're driving today, see if you can feel when it shifts. It's a very smooth, there's no clutch back or any torque brake. 
in this uh, the other items I would point out is in general we're always trying to make this product as efficient as possible as lightweight as possible the VNR electric for example is disc brakes only we use disc brakes because they weigh a little bit less and they use less air and so not having to run that air compressor again saves us that energy to help maximize the range this particular truck we right here is our adaptive loading 6x2 vehicle and what makes that interesting is this is our drive axle so all the power to for the momentum of this vehicle comes from here when you connect a driver connects a trailer to it it will estimate what that trailer weighs if it, you leave fully loaded drops that pusher axle down automatically driver doesn't have to do anything gives you that 50 50 loading on your axles as they make their stops deliver their goods and their uh, remove the payload and it detects you don't need that axle down picks it up saves that uh, tire wear again about efficiency what can we do to maximize that range for the drivers for the uh, driveline itself I think it's really important to highlight we've also spent a lot of time on trying to figure out how can we produce this at scale what can we do to be able to produce where we want where we want to be as a company and where we think the customers will be so underneath the hood here and we'll open it up here in a little bit we've created a what we call our modular power box we take all the power electronics we actually made it and assembled it in an engine like structure and the reason we've done that is at our powertrain facility in Hagerstown, Maryland, they assemble this structure together, fits on an engine crate. So they ship it in here to the factory here in New River Valley amongst all the D13 engines. Same thing with the transmission. They put together the electric motor and the two-speed transmission. It comes down here in trailers with all the I shifts. And then this truck goes down the main line on our vehicle assembly factory right over the other side of the hill here. And then at the end of that, we take it to our EMOB assembly area, install the batteries, do the commissioning work, and then the truck goes to the normal quality checks like any other product we build. So again, we put a lot of effort in how we can produce this scale and at the quality that all of our customers expect from the Volvo product. And with that, I'm gonna take a breath here. I think we'll kick off our first three drivers and then here to answer questions.